Hello, and welcome to the Pharmacy Times News Network. I'm Mike Lakar, your host for our Pharmacy Week interview. This past weekend, Pharmacy Times traveled to Las Vegas to cover the American Society of Consultant Pharmacists annual meeting. At a packed session, attendees heard directly from the panel that oversaw the 2015 updates to the American Geriatric Society beers criteria. One of the panel co-chairs outlined the criteria's new warnings about opioid use in an exclusive interview with Pharmacy Times. The other things we added, the opioids, for, to avoid them in patients who have a history of falling, to try to look for other alternatives for pain management when possible. Um, we've changed the, uh, the Z drugs, as they're called, the non-benzodiazepine sedative hypnotics. We removed the duration of use of saying of they're okay for up to 90 days. We actually took it off and said that there is no acceptable duration of, action, of use because of their increased risk for falling and cognitive impairment. The FDA has once again delayed its enforcement of product tracing requirements for the pharmacies under the Drug Supply Chain Security Act of the Drug Quality and Security Act. Although these track and trace requirements took effect on July 1st, the FDA previously said it would not enforce the product tra tracing obligations for pharmacies until November 1st, which it has now extended to March. In the meantime, pharmacies will not be penalized if they do not capture and maintain product tracing information or accept prescription drugs without product tracing information before or during a transaction. In other FDA news, two Novartis inhalation powders are now approved for the treatment of COPD. The Udebron neohaler is indicated for the long-term maintenance treatment of COPD, while the Seabree neohaler is approved for the use of a standalone COPD monotherapy. Both drugs are delivered through a low-resistance inhaler that makes administration easier for patients with different severities of airflow limitations. Novartis plans to launch both products in the first quarter of 2016. A mail-order pharmacy that filled prescriptions for Valiant has closed amid reports of improper behavior. Philidor RX Services altered codes on some prescriptions to make it look like physicians or patients requested Valiant's brand name drugs in lieu of less gen expensive generic versions. After learning about these dealings, CVS, Express Scripts, and United Health's OptumRx all announced that they would stop using drugs dispensed by Philidor. CVS spokesperson Mike DeAngelis told Pharmacy Times that CVS Caremark had been investigating Philidor's practices over the last several weeks and ultimately terminated it for non-compliance with terms of its provider agreement. In other product news, Sanofi is recalling its AbbVQ epinephrine auto-injectors because the devices may inaccurately deliver doses. The recall involves all AbbVQ products currently on the market, both in the 0.15 mg and 0.3 mg strength injections. Sanofi said it will reimburse pharmacies that bought these recalled products. For more great coverage and practical information for today's pharmacists, visit our website and sign up for our daily e-news. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching our Pharmacy Week interview. I'm Mike Lakar at the Pharmacy Times News Network.